Ladies and gentlemen, when you find that machine, it's all good. Be good. It's Good Friday, and you're still live on AYO Radio UK. Yes, ask your Good Friday going on. It's a bank holiday. You have you don't have to go to work. Put your feet up. Have a nice cup of tea. Kill ram, kill fowl, kill lizard if you like. If you are like those people who like to eat uh, anything, bush meat. Yes, so I call it rats, but you call it bush meat. Yes, kill anything. Just celebrate um, the date of. Uh, our Lord Jesus Christ, yes, mm. ladies and gentlemen, you are live on AYO radio. Yeah, shout to Toke Bravo, hold tight, big up your chest. Happy Good Friday. Asked, are you enjoying Good Friday over there in Nigeria? I believe you are in Nigeria right now. Yes, uh, AYO radio is in the UK. We're broadcasting from UK at the moment, but we're going to start broadcasting from Nigeria this year on FM yes don't forget we're still gonna be online as well so remember keep it locked on AYO radio and tune in yes big up everyone that's locked on now um, sorry I just missed the call now uh, I do apologize about that um, you know yeah let's get ready I got my cup of tea it's really really nice yeah strawberry tea very nice mmm doing me nicely that's how i'm enjoying good friday here today shout out to my family shout out to uh, actress Fali Wirikwi. happy birthday to you yeah long life and prosperity and also to see me happy birthday to you see me simply see me the yawo adekunle gold wow love is in the air I mean it, love is in the air. Ladies and gentlemen, let's get ready for the next program today. The program from a lovely queen, Queen Cindy. Mm -hmm. Yes, she she calls it the topic. I think the topic is believe in you. Believe in you. That's a good topic, isn't it? Believe in you. Believe in you. Do you believe in yourself? You have to believe in yourself before you believe in somebody. Trust me. That's what I think. Ladies and gentlemen, it's going to be an educative, entertaining. And uh, trust me, you will take something away from it. Okay? So get your paper ready and a pen. You know, jot something down. Because this is intriguing and is going to change your life. From today onwards, I want you to believe in yourself. And if you like, believe in us. AYO Radio. We will never let you down. Shout out to Sam Sin Akiola. Thank you so much for logging on. Yeah, who else is there? Mom. You know, when I say mama, 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 it's just I'm trying to avoid dead air. Trust me, because I'm thinking. I can't even see the name I'm trying to read. Um, anyway, you know who you are. Big up your chest, yeah? Ladies and gentlemen, are you ready? Are you ready to listen to this? Are you ready for this show from your queen, Queen Cindy? Believe in yourself. Let's get ready. Hey, family. It's your girl, Cindy, on your charismatic AYO Radio UK. And you're on to Souls and Spies. Today... I will be talking about believing in yourself. Now, this is um, a topic a lot of people discuss, and uh, it's it's something that affects all of us. And I want to talk about talk to all of us, you know, out there listening, both the young and the old, you know, about believing in yourself. Most of us today have been through so much difficulty and obstacles in our lives that we have stopped believing in ourselves. Some today only show off to the outside world and the social media that all is going on well and that they reek of confidence. But deep down, they know the truth and who they really are. Depression and self loath is what rules their lives. While some people can't even hide it, they feel others are way ahead of them and they are below and nothing is working out. 
and they cannot achieve anything good. But right now, my brothers, my sisters, mother and father, whoever you are and wherever you are, I want to talk to you and I want you to listen. I want you to understand that you are unique and special. Therefore, you need to stop believing in yourself. It is not about the social media, the lies you let people believe in when they see you. But it's about your mind. Because the mind is a powerful thing. The mind is something that controls us as humans. So if, if your mind is polluted with negativity, you realize that you become a negative person. If your mind is polluted with poverty, you realize you become a poverty-stricken person. If your mind is polluted with drugs, your mind is polluted with, you know, negative, you know, seeing yourself as backward or stagnant. I'm sorry, brother. You always be stagnant. You always be negative. You always be in one position. So the mind is what is the most powerful thing that controls your surrounding, that controls what goes on around you. Now, being positive begins with your mind and what you think of yourself. It may have happened that all your mates are doing better than you are today and are achieving great things and you are yet to begin that project, you know, that project you want to start. You're yet to begin that that um, that um, thing, that restaurant you want to open. You're yet to begin that business you want to start. You know, maybe some of them are even graduates and you're way behind. And maybe some of them are even, you know, you know, achieving great things, making things out of their names. Oh, you know, some of them have even gone farther ahead of you. Or you have done a lot of things and failed countless times. Mm -hmm. You are jobless or your friends are all married and you're still single and don't, and you, you get to even find a man for yourself for those <laughs> ladies that are still single. You know, but I'll, I'll tell you this today. Don't stop believing in yourself. Don't stop believing you can do it. Don't stop believing in your God. Don't stop believing that there are things you can achieve, you know, that, you know, that you're yet to, you know, grab, grab, grab on. So please, do not stop believing that you can do it. Because as long as you believe in yourself, as long as you have, you know, the Almighty, He'll always stand by you. Now, I'm going to share this um, story with us. I'm going to, I'm going to it's, it's not, basically, my experience is something, um, a week ago, I read it from a friend of mine. She shared something on, and I, I read about it. It's just a little article, and I read about it. I'm going to share it with, her, with us. She gave this story that she went to the market to buy some things. And um, she likes to buy some ugu vegetable, you know, seeds. I don't know if we all know what that is, the ugu vegetable seeds, that, so that she can plant in our little garden behind um, the house and, you know, get some vegetables she can use. And then she, she had this five ugu seeds. She went out to plant them in her garden at home. She planted them in five cardinal points and kept watering them every morning. Kept, you know, nurturing and checking, you know, watering, nurturing and checking on the plants. And then she realized that the first one started growing. It started growing really, really fast, you know. The second one joined and later the third. But the fourth of those seeds did not grow. It just refused to grow. But she kept watering. She, she just like, okay, what's wrong with this plant? It's not growing. The fourth and the fifth were not growing. And then she she kept watering them and watering and watering. The first one was growing, you know, the second was growing normally like every other plant. And then one morning, she realized that the fourth plant had started growing. You know, it was a shocker for her. She was like, what's happening? Why, what's happening to this plant? It just started growing. Something after weeks of planting them, like over... Three, four weeks of planting this thing and it didn't even show sign of growth. And then today she saw it grow. She saw this, it just spread out. It was just like, oh my God, what's happening? So she was happy to see that the fourth one is growing, but the fifth one did not grow. So she, she gradually kept watering and watering and watering the plants. And then she realized that the fourth plant grew 
faster than the rest. Mm -hmm. Those mm -hmm. ones that were even growing us, you know, so fast, she, the, the fourth one grew faster, it was way up and filled up the garden. You know, she, she started having to find a place to, you know, you know how it is when you fix the ugu leaves. I don't know if, the, for those of us that did not grow in the village, <laughs> you know how it is, you, you fix the ugu leaves and you put it, you know, in different places just so it could, it could grow well. It started growing really fast. It grew faster than the first. It grew faster than the second. It grew faster than the third. Even with the fact that those three other plants grew, were the ones that grew fast. This fourth one became so much. It, it, it filled up the whole garden. And then that was the ugu that produced the best fruit, that produced the best leaves, that had the best leaves and gave her so much seeds in return. So I'm going to say that, do not cry, do not worry, nor should you get depressed or kill yourself over the fact that others have gone ahead of you. You don't know what you have in you. You don't know where you're heading towards. Just keep working hard. Just keep believing you can't do it because you may just end up being the fourth Ugu leaf. You may just end up being the one that would grow faster. You know, it's not, it's not about, okay, she's achieving, he's achieving, he's been places or people know him, you know, he's been there yes he's, he's now somebody so great and that everybody now knows him or her and he's a medical doctor or oh, he's uh, he's is now a, a, a very popular figure and then you're looking at yourself like what have i really achieved my dear just work, work smart work hard don't relent keep moving forward because i believe that you can do you have something in you that can do you might just become that fourth ugu leaf that will grow and become way bigger than every other one just like the ugu seeds that were planted they all looked alike and productive and like the primary school you know most of us attended primary school in those days we all looked alike we all looked the same we all look um with the hairstyle the clothing we some of us wore uniform in those days and then you know we're ready to achieve we're eager and ready to achieve greatness we're eager and ready to go further in life you know and destiny created different parts for every one of us yet we all are still alive that's the most important thing that you're still alive you're breathing you're healthy you have you have you have people who love you you know, and if you don't have people who love you, have your God by you, that you can talk to at whenever you feel, you know, down or depressed, or whenever you feel like, you know, things are not moving the way you, it should um, move, you know. And even with all the challenges you're facing right now, you're still alive. You're still kicking. You're still moving. So, my brothers, my sisters, no matter how old you are or how many failures you have had, or how many times you have been mocked, you can still be the fourth Ugu seed. You can still rise beyond expectation. You can still spring up and grow, catch up and overtake those who have gone before you and recover all that you have lost. Biblically speaking, David lost everything he had at one time, his wives, his family, and everything he ever worked for. All his life, gone was taken away from him. But he trusted in God. And so he asked God, can I pursue? Will I overtake? And God said, pursue and overtake and recover all. And that's what I'm telling you today, that it's not about what you are doing right now. It's not about where you are right now. It's not about who you are right now. It's not about what you have lost in the past, but it's about right now and what you can achieve. Now, I'm not saying just sit down in your house and feel like, yes, I can pursue, I can overtake, I can get it. That's not what I'm saying. I'm not saying just be, be uh, reluctant, just feel so relaxed. Yes, I can do it. Now, if you know that you have something you have been pursuing, don't give up. No matter how many failures, and you know this thing is productive, you, no matter how many failures you might have had in the past, no matter how far you might have gone in that project, don't give up. Don't say, oh no, this thing has failed. Let me just, just forget it. Keep pushing. Keep moving on. Don't just let it go. If you know that you've been searching for a job, keep searching. But on the sideline, check out on things that you can do, things you can create to become better. Don't just sit down and feel like, oh yes, because yes, I can do it. Yes, I can pursue and overtake. And then you're relaxed. No, I'm saying work smarter, work harder. 
then wake up and realize that you're a great person. Believe in yourself. Don't just let yourself drown in your sadness, in your in your sadness, in your depression. Don't let yourself, you know, be be, be redundant. Don't let anything stand as a stumbling block to you because I know you can do it. And I'm saying both for the girls. Now, if you're a woman, don't just depend on a guy. Don't just say, oh, I've been trying, I've been looking for a job and nothing is working out. Go out there and see whatever you can do. You can achieve greatness. I, you know, I've seen women who have done great things. You know, and I want, I want you to be inspired today. I want you to wake up. You know, if you're a young lady and you're yet to get there, don't say because ah, my mates they've gone there. Some of them in America, yeah, in the UK, yeah, yeah, they are, they are, they are, they are making names for themselves. Don't, don't look at it that way, because for everyone there is time. For every man, for every woman, there is time. We all have our time. And when it's your time, trust me, you will rise up and get what is yours. When it's your time that was meant for you, you would rise up and get what is yours. And when you're making a decision of um, maybe to get married, get married to that person that believes in your dream. Now, you might have been waking up and saying, yes, I can make it. I can do this. I can get it. I can achieve. I can pursue and overtake. But at some point, your dream might be cut off just because of whoever you are married to, whoever you decided to tie the knot with. So I'm saying that be careful. You know, while you are all about believing in yourself, while you're all about getting to where you want to get to, while you're all about, you know, achieving and working smarter, choose whoever you tie the knot with wisely. Open your eyes. Be smart enough to understand whoever believes in your dream. Do not go about with dream killers. Now, the people you walk about with, your friends, your family, those are the people that influence your, your, most, most of our lives. You, know? you need to be careful of who you are with because they are what they call dream killers. They are people that are there to kill your dreams. There are people that are there to discourage you and tell you you mm. can't do it. But I tell you today, you can't do it. No matter what, you can become whoever you want to be. Just be careful of the people you are around with. The man you decide to marry. The woman you decide to marry. The person should walk hand in hand with you to make your dreams come true. Do not pursue and overtake. But you have somebody tying you behind your back and pulling you back. You won't be able to go there all. Do not decide to move forward and you now have one friend telling you, ah, you can't make it. Always surround yourself with people that always tell you that you can do it. That always see the best in you. Surround yourself with people that see that you can go further in life. Cut people out of your life. The ones that you see are full of negativity. The ones that you feel that do not want you to take a step ahead. The ones you feel will not see you achieve your dreams. Cut them off. You don't need them. And for my brothers, my dear, if you're a man out there and you feel like, oh no, you, you, you've not achieved the things that you want to achieve. You've not gotten to that level you want to get to in life. You've not gotten those things you need to get my brother you can still do it you're a man and that's why you were created first before us as women you can still get to that point you want to get to and that's why i still say choose your partner wisely now if you're about to get married or you need a woman in your life you need to choose that woman that would set hold your hands and move hand in hand with you to achieve greatness and if you if you feel like oh god my 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 mates you know they've all been there they've all gone places they've all achieved the things they want to achieve and I'm still here I don't even have money in my pocket I can't even even buy a car look you have to wake up think smart pursue and overtake you can still do it you can still get there you don't need to sit down in your house and feel you can do it you need to get out there and see whatever look at yourself what talents do you have what do you have it may just those things you may think will not work out may just be those things that would work out for you those things you feel that are not good enough may just be the things that may be good enough for you look at yourself what talents do you have what can you do to get things done what can you do to achieve greatness look at what god has deposited in you because in every man there is a gift in everyone there is something that has been deposited in them so please look at yourself sit down think about it meditate check yourself well and see what you have you can offer and see what you can give out there you know to make yourself a better person and then 
I am very sure that you can get there. I am very sure that you can achieve whatever it is you want to achieve. That's what I believe. Because, I, you know, God did not create men to be the heads for just anything. God did not make them kings just to be anything. Because there is this thing that has been deposited in them that is to make them move ahead of us. So if you're that man that feels you're lesser than you're supposed to be, I'm sorry, you shouldn't think that way. You should see yourself as a king. You should see yourself as an achiever. You should see yourself as someone that is supposed to achieve greatness. Do not look down at yourself. Because for me, I believe every man is a king, especially my black brothers. <laughs> and then, so I will say this, my brothers, my sister, get up right now. Pursue, overtake, and recover all. With God by your side, you can do it. With Him with you, you can make it. Now, God who created us gave us free will and choices. That is why I tell you today that joy is a choice. Sorrow is a choice. Poverty is a choice. It's all your choice. There's nothing pursuing you. Village people are not pursuing you. It is all your choice. If it's something that you need to pray yourself out, you start praying yourself out. If it's something that you need to start working harder, begin to work harder. If it's something that you need to start working smarter, because the difference between working harder and working smarter, start working smarter. That's why I'm saying joy is a choice. Sorrow is a choice. Poverty is a choice. So you have the free will given by God to make your choices. So wake up and choose wisely. Do not give up. Do not fall and still lie flat on your back. Take the bull by the horn. And do not forget to always pray and ask God for guidance while you work towards your goals and dreams. Forget the past pains and failures, all the storms that have risen up in, in your life. Rise up to recover all. And don't forget to always believe in yourself. A lot of young people today do not even know how to read. There's a problem there. I'm not saying they can't read, but they do not, they just don't want to read. They're not ready to read. When you read, it's easier for you to learn about a lot of things. You need to start learning. You need, it opens up your, your horizon. It opens up your mind to a lot of things. So I'm saying, let's read, let's read because Reading promotes you to make to make you a better person. And then another thing, you, know, you need to improve yourself. Improve yourself. If you know you have a degree, maybe you go for professional courses to improve your, your intellect, to improve your professionalism, to improve in whatever area that you think you can work on. If you know that, okay, you are, you are, you, you, you are probably a hairdresser, you can always, you know, improve. Always take a step higher, aim higher at getting better. Take a step higher, always aim higher at getting better. Improve yourself in different areas. Now, sit down, you know, we're all talented. Sit down and think about it. What exactly can you improve yourself in? What exactly can you really do? Read books, study books, read things. Not just go on the internet to just be pinging on now it's, it's, it's no longer pinging. It's now um, Instagram. You know, Use that social media to, to improve yourself. A lot of people use Instagram, especially Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and WhatsApp you know, to do a lot of things. So I'm saying, look at that angle where you can improve yourself. Look at that angle where you can use to make yourself better. Don't just feel like... Um, yeah, Cynthia, Cynthia said... Um, we can we, we should believe in ourselves we can do it and just sit in your house no read books use every medium whatsoever especially the social media to improve yourself especially the people surround you can even do things around your area you know i've seen a girl in school that back in the day in school she used to um make toast bread early in the morning for students she wakes up as early as four o'clock and makes toast bread you know for those of us that are always in a hurry we need something to just munch and and hurry um hurry up for lectures so you can you can do that she made a lot of money back then just by making toast bread for students just see and she then she used to sell a slice of toast a toast then for like 200 naira 
because you add eggs and rest. So just use your environment, use your 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 the social media. A lot of young people today have phones that browse. Use the social media. A lot of young people today are on Facebook, on Instagram, on Twitter. So use those mediums to 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 take a step higher, to get yourself to that point where nobody can reach you. Because I say the sky. It's just the beginning. It's not just the limit. If you know that you 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 feel don't don't feel that you're dumb. Don't feel you can't do it. Don't feel like nothing is moving. Don't feel like you're lesser than you are. Because I know that there was something deposited in everybody's to, to be able to, you know, you know, do something. Ask questions, get mentors that that, that will Mentors that would inspire you, mentors that would make, that would, you know, groom you. If you have parents who, are, whoever, uncles, aunties, even the ones, celebrities that you can't see, that are, that are like towing your line. If you have like a dream, a dream, yes, a kind of dream like you want to become a doctor, you should have a mentor who is, has been successful in that area. If you want to be um, um, an artist, have a mentor who's been successful in that area. If you want to have, you, you want to be a businessman, you know, have mentors. I'm not just saying, look at their, look at what, the, 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 what they decided to climb to get to that area they want to get to, get to that height they got to. Study, learn, you know, listen to corrections because most of us can't listen to, you know, corrections. Positive criticism. A lot of young people, a lot of people, both old, young, they can't listen to that. So listen to people, listen to corrections, take corrections. When somebody says, why don't you try this? Think about it. Is this the right? Is it right? Okay. I think I could, I could, I could make it a little bit. Because the, the, the main thing that makes people fail is when they don't listen. Learn to listen. When you, when you, when you fall down, sit down, think about it. Those mistakes that you made, those things that you did that were that were wrong, that made you fall the first time, then do it better. Do it better. Learn from your mistakes. Listen to corrections. You know, get mentors that will inspire you. And also listen to positive criticism. Don't always think, ah, they want me to fail. Ah, they, 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 those people, they are haters. Not everybody is a hater. Not everybody wants to see you fail. Not everybody wants to see you drown. Some people see some mistakes that you make and just point it out. And when those people just listen, listen and think about it. If it's really a, something you've really done wrong, try to correct them. That's how, that's, that's making yourself better. And you know, by making yourself better, that is, you've, you're believing in yourself, believing in the talents God has given to you, believing in doing it better and better and better so don't always feel like oh criticism is it's it's not it ah, please they don't like me they don't like my face no i'm not i don't i i don't i don't subscribe to that i tell some young people that when when you're doing something wrong and somebody tells you listen now some people some people who tell you that you did wrong may not even have the right language to put that up to you but just listen because in every nonsense, there is a sense. So please, listen to whatever nonsense, even a conductor can blab. You know, if, you, if you're a creative person, if you're someone that's creative, that is intelligent, you will even listen to a conductor. Yes, you would listen to a conductor speak. You will even listen to the tomato seller. You will listen to them because there is every sense in nonsense you can always pick something you can always you know get ideas from different angles you can always make something out of nothing so listen learn to listen it's a very good quality that most people do not have learn to observe learn to listen and observe those qualities they would make you a better person thank you very much for listening today i hope you we got inspired i hope we we had something to, you know, to, to, to make ourselves better. I hope we learned something today. And I hope, I hope we stop believing in ourselves, start working harder, start working smarter, and start doing the things the right way with God's guidance. 
by the way. <laughs> All right, it's your girl Cindy. Have a lovely day. Yes, thank you, Cindy. What a fantastic presentation from Cindy there, believing in yourself. She demonstrated a lot of ways that you can believe in yourself. I hope you're inspired by this. I am inspired so much to learn from this lady. Don't forget she's here every week on AYO Radio. Cindy, she's an inspirational um, orator or speaker if you like. Yes, thank God she's here. Thank God she's on AYO Radio UK. Yeah, shout out to everyone that's locked on now. Big up your chest. We really appreciate you and I hope your Good Friday is going on okie dokie just the way you like it. Yes, it can only get better. You remember, you're in control of your destiny. Did you hear me? I said that again. You are in control of your destiny. Whatever you want for yourself, be in control of it. Yes, nobody can control anything for you. All right? Like real talk, real issues, real people, topical facts, as it affects the environment. Many people call me the O X Y G E N Oxygen because I do what I breathe life into you from the M R C. Whoa, give it up for the studio right here. Of course, I'm not alone. I am with the man in the hood, I am with the guys in the hood. We're doing this all together.
said, Thou shalt not fornicate. He don't have any wife on this earth that somebody might just take for him. Thou make him sister that. <laughs> Copy the skills, press this. Ooh. Yeah, ladies and gentlemen, yes, those were the intros of what you're going to be hearing today, what we're going to be doing for you today on your Good Friday, because we want to make your Good Friday a remarkable one, an enjoyable one, a program that you will never forget, and a day that will always stick for uh, in your mind and trust me we have the pedigree we have everything whatever it takes right here to make you happy yeah once again happy birthday to uh, the singer the artist see me and also the Nollywood actress happy birthday to you and also congratulations to Tanya Omotayo Omotayo the former girlfriend of whiskey hmm. whiskey get baby mother like die all over the world i gotta go help her more i'm telling you if you don't make sense you know they make money trust me it's ayo radio keep it locked copy the skins press this Ooh.